This release is significant because it's the first tribe to tribe interstate transfer of Yellowstone bison. And that's a demonstration of our sovereignty between the, the Fort Peck tribes and the Eastern Shoshone tribe to share in our efforts to restore uh, buffalo back to our homelands. The National Wildlife Federation and the Tribal Partnerships Program of the, of the National Wildlife Federation is uh, very important because NWF is the largest member-based conservation organization. Uh, buffalo restoration for tribes is uh, about healing. So the atrocities of the past uh, that have affected our grandmas and grandpas, uh, we're in, a, in an, an attempt today to uh, reconnect our people with buffalo, restore our languages, and ensure that our young people are grounded in our cultural ways. And so even this weekend is the 60th annual Eastern Shoshone Indian Days powwow. Uh, in collaboration uh, of, of and in celebration of our, our cultural ways. Uh, the Shoshone people are the Gwichandika, the, the buffalo eaters. So historically our ancestors, our grandmas and grandpas uh, subsisted off of, of bison for life's commissary. Food, clothing, shelter, tools, uh, it's even central to our ceremonies, and so it's a very important effort to bring bison back to the reservation, but it's also important for the species.